Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. If you want to connect to your intuition, then continue watching the video. I'm gonna share with you a therapeutic art exercise that will help you strengthen your relationship to intuition in a creative way. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm back every week with therapeutic art activities that will help you on your journey of healing. Intuition, by definition, is the ability to immediately understand something without any conscious reasoning. So I'm sure many of you have experienced this before, where maybe you met someone and you knew that you were going to marry this person, and you did. Or maybe you had a feeling that someone that you loved was in danger or not feeling well, so you give them a call and they weren't feeling well. Or maybe you walk into a room and you just have a feeling that something bad is going to happen, and it does. All these examples, they're there is no logical reasoning for you to feel one way or another, it just is. And that's because we're listening to our gut. So it's a deep inner knowing, it's our inner voice guiding us and telling us what feels right and what feels wrong. So why is our intuition so important? Because essentially it empowers us. There is so much going around in our society of people telling you what to do, of people trying to sell you things, telling you to do this, telling you to do that. And your own inner voice can get lost when there's so many things outside externally. Your intuition is about connecting inward to yourself and letting you know that you are the master of your own life. You have the power to guide and make decisions on your own because you know. And the thing is with intuition, the more that you practice it, the stronger that it gets. So it's important to practice trusting your intuition so that you don't feel any doubt when you are making decisions in life. And so I created this therapeutic art exercise to help you connect your intuition, strengthen your relationship to intuition, and ultimately explore it in a fun and creative way. For this exercise, you're going to need a piece of paper, watercolor paints, a jar of water, paint brushes, and a black fine liner pen. Before you begin, create a safe and quiet space for art making. Light a candle and take a deep breath in. Release all distractions and allow yourself to be in this moment now. Place your hands on the paper and say out loud or silently in your heart, I access my intuition easily and effortlessly. I trust my intuition to guide me. My intuition is strong and clear. Create an intuitive watercolor painting. Take a moment to feel the painting. Use a black marker and allow the images to reveal itself. Let the images and words flow on to the paper. This is your opportunity to practice your intuition and non-judgment. Let the colors choose you and begin to splash around the paints. The point here is to keep moving and keep the energy flowing so that you don't have time to think. Let the brush move spontaneously and let yourself play. Try your best to be present from moment to moment. After you're finished, take a moment with your piece. Take a deep breath and really immerse yourself in the painting. Turn your work around and see which side feels right. Let the painting speak to you and see if you can find any images within the picture using your black marker. Trust your imagination here. When you think, oh, that reminds me of that, trust it. Let it shape the direction of the piece. Words may start to flow on the page. Trust that too and let it flow out. See if you notice a reaction in your body when something feels right. Tune into that feeling and let it guide you the whole way through. So this
this is a piece that I end up creating and the whole process of creating something without an end goal, without any expectations was so freeing for me because it really allowed me to be present in my body and it allowed me to take the process from moment to moment and really trusting what was happening. So when I was looking for images within this piece, I end up seeing a face, I end up seeing an alligator and all these things. And I really just had to trust myself in that moment and not question do I really see a face or do I really see that? I just put it down. I just went with my gut instinct, my first instinct. And as the images went on the paper, words started to flow out. I wrote things like, take your power back, celebrate, truth, let it flow, the water knows. And I'm not sure why I wrote these words down, but those are the words that came immediately in that moment. And now when I reflect back in this piece and I'm reading the words that I wrote down, I'm really going to take this in and I'm really going to trust that these words and these images came on this paper for a reason. And that's the thing, you really have to trust the process, really trust yourself and trust that everything that is coming out on the paper is meant to be here. Because as I said, you know, you know how to do this. You know what's right for you, you know what's wrong. So out of this whole exercise, I just really want to empower you and let you know that you have all the answers that you need. You have all the answers that you need. And so I really hope you take some time just to explore your intuition, explore your inner self with this exercise. And if you wanted to share with me, I would love to see your process. So you can always tag me on Instagram or send me an email. And if you do have any other suggestions for videos in the future that you would like to see on any topics that you want me to cover, please leave it down in the comments below. In the meantime, I'm sending you all love and creativity and I'll see you next week.